Walk to Cure Diabetes is taking place next weekend, and this is your chance to help search for ways to cure, better treat, and prevent type 1 diabetes. Joining me this morning to tell you more are Amy Morrison and her son Ryan, as well as Nina Lawrence, Special Events Manager. Great to have you all here today. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Amy, would you tell us the story of how Ryan was diagnosed and how it's affected your family? Well, uh, when Ryan was just a little over one year old, he started to be really fussy and was peeing right through diapers, right through his outfits, which he had never done before. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't like me to share that story, but hey, it's, all, it's life, right, Ryan? Right, right. And he went through <laughs> went through one day where he, he went through three outfits in a four-hour period of time, and I just knew that that wasn't normal. Yeah. And I kind of already had a feeling that it was diabetes, so I called the doctor, and we went in and. They checked his um, blood sugar and his urine, and it was over 1,000. So we immediately had to go to Bay State um, to get his blood sugar levels regulated with insulin. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> after he was diagnosed, um, JDRF gives out these bags of hope. So even though your child was just diagnosed with diabetes, there is still hope. Mm -hmm. So this bag of hope was our connection to JDRF, <clears throat> excuse me, and also a support group. There was, um, there was a support group going on at the time for families with young children with diabetes, which we immediately turned to because we didn't know what to do. This was all brand new for us. And Ryan was your first. You have other yes. children. But yes. So especially, you know, then it would be so hard to know exactly what to do and where to turn. Right. But since then, you've been walking with a JDRF every year since then. So it's been happening for the past eight years, right, because you're... Yes. Nine now, Ryan, is that right? Just yes. about. Just about in three yes. days. Very exciting now. Three days. <laughs> what do you look forward to about the walk every year? Um, I look forward to being with my family and friends and just being able to see people that I don't normally see. And a lot of your friends come out and support it, don't yes. they? Yes. A ton of people in my school do. and. That's going to make really you exciting. feel really good to know that they are there for you and they support yeah. you. Now, what is your team name, Ryan? My team name is... Ryan's Rangers, and this shirt is my team shirt. If you want to um, become a team member, you can wear. You'll get the shirt, and it has Scooby Doo on the back. Uh, whose idea was that? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't know if it was yours. That is so cute. I love that. Actually, shirt. The, the people at the One Way Screen Printing, uh, they came up with that idea. As they were designing it, they came up with the idea of putting Scooby, and Ryan was a huge Scooby fan. I am too. Who time, is so it, we right? Put that on there. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> That's great. Well, Ryan, and people can donate to your team. They can yes. join. They can start their own team. And Nina, you're here to tell us all about that. Tell Absolutely. us about the walk coming up next weekend. Absolutely. Well, we're super excited. The walk is going to be Sunday, October 14th. It takes place at Six Flags New England right here in Agawam, and um, it's a family fun day. We have registration starting at 8.30. The walk itself starts at 10. Um, actually, Laura Hutchinson from the station is actually our MC, so we're very excited about that. Yeah. Um, this year, we're actually very thrilled to welcome two new co-chairs. We have Derek Kellogg, who is the head coach of UMass Basketball, and then we also have uh, Sheriff Michael Ash from Hamden County. So we're really excited to have them both on board. And it's just a fun day. We have costume characters out there, balloon animals, um, music, entertainment. It's a really fun day for the family. And we're seeing some footage from past years Absolutely. we just saw. So it does look like a lot of fun. Ryan, you must look yeah. forward to that every year, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I always do. <laughs> I bet. And you could so excited. <laughs> and and little, people come out, they can hang out with you. His little yeah. brother Logan loves it, too. Mm -hmm. Logan's almost seven, and he yeah. loves it just as much. Mm -hmm. And Amy, you were telling me earlier about a support group mm -hmm. that you host for families who have children with type 1 diabetes, and they're welcome to come and join you. Yes, that's right. Uh, the, the support group that we were a part of when Ryan was first diagnosed disbanded, and um, after a couple of years, I thought this is a really valuable um, um, thing to have out there. And a lot of support groups were going on in Connecticut, but we really didn't have any in Western Mass. So my husband and I, along with the help from my sister, Lori Scott, um, we started a support group here in Western Mass, and it has gotten tremendous response. And this support group, some of the support groups are just for the parents to go or mm -hmm. the moms get together, 
this support group's for the whole family. So you have the children with diabetes, so they can play with other kids, their siblings. We've had grandparents come, everyone. So That's it's great. open to everyone, so you can just get together. And it's very low-key, laid back, and everybody just shares information. And, and it really helped you when you needed it. So Absolutely. it's good to know that you're it's there. Way to give back. People can find you on Facebook. They can also email you as well. Well, thanks so much for being here, Nina, Thank Ryan, you. and Amy. Thank you. I know the event's going to be great. Go Ryan's Rangers. Yeah. Right? yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ryan, coming up Thank Saturday. <laughs> thanks so much. And to learn more about the upcoming Walk to Cure Diabetes, you can log on to walk.jdrf.org.